So hello and welcome to the Data Explorers Market Update. I'm Will Duff Gordon. So today we're taking a break from uh, protest votes against Angela Merkel in Germany and uh, protests against the uh, uh, spending cuts in the UK to talk to the relative calm of Sweden, uh, which has um, come through the credit crisis pretty well. So we thought we'd have a quick look there and see uh, what the short selling and the institutional investor sentiment was ahead of a breakfast, that, not a breakfast, a lunch we're doing with Bloomberg uh, on Wednesday. Uh, so first of all, it's actually a pretty lucrative time to be lending your Swedish equities if you have them. Uh, on average, over the last year, you could have made 16 basis points return. Uh, and at the moment with the dividend season, with so many um, of their big cap companies raising their dividend and issuing big yields, uh, something like 600 basis points is the average fee for lending a Swedish equity in the large cap index right now, which is pretty juicy. It's only surpassed by Finland at the moment that's also in its dividend season. Uh, if we look at um, the investor sentiment, we can see that essentially uh, one theme is that the banks, you know, Svenska Handelsbanken, Swedbank and Nordea, are all three seeing rising institutional ownership. Uh, so stock in lending programs as a proxy for institutional sentiment shows us that people are sort of buying into the Swedish banks, uh, so people are along that sector. Let's have a look at some of the sporadic shorts, and the first one we should talk about is Electrolux. Uh, the big electronics manufacturer um, hasn't been very popular uh, with some investors because the short selling got as high as 13% earlier on this year. Now it's since come down to 8%, but still remains the biggest sort of directional short in the index. Um, and some analysts are questioning whether that's actually right now and that they see reasons to be cheerful in Electrolux. Um, a name that I'm fond of is Oriflame Cosmetics, uh, which has got a big short position of 10.5%. They do direct marketing to sort of Eastern European customers and try and sell them cosmetics. Uh, Nomura Research, hats off to them, they produced a rather interesting research paper under the title of uh, No Foundation to Cover Up This Maturing Model. Um, and they see um, essentially a reduce or a sell, I can't remember which, but they, they don't see a rosy future for Oriflame Cosmetics. And plenty are agreeing and putting some quite big short bets behind that. Uh, two other slightly more minor ones. Well, we should look at Ericsson, of course, when looking at Sweden. Short selling has risen, but it's still quite low at 2.5%. Uh, and finally, there's a small kind of listed um, uh, private equity company called Melka Schurling, forgive my pronunciation there. Uh, it's a small cap stock, but there's been a big increase in short selling recently. Low in absolute terms, but an aggressive rise. Um, if you'd like to read the report in more detail, it is at dataexplorers.com forward slash news. And if you'd like to attend the Bloomberg lunch on Wednesday, go to BUGO on your terminal to sign up. Thank you for watching.